just a quick little shop. So that's the BMS. And then there's uh, cells one and two, three and four. Uh, we're actually gonna change that. We're ground to the, the bottom, lower down, uh, and we're gonna make it uh, zero gauge. Just again, because we have the wire, we don't, even though I know technically I don't need to, but we will, so. Uh, and then there's the base amp, the 5K, and then the high amp for Fosgate. So let me do a little shop update as well. So we got these done. These are the, I think there's, I think I only have like one, maybe two Cylon motors left. And somebody already bought one or wants to buy one or already. So, but um, he wanted the Jizlama decals. We got a bunch of Jizlama decals in too. If you guys want more of those, uh, just, you know, make a donation. Send me your, t text me your address, 602-312-6504 and your name and, and we'll get you taken care of. So Eric, uh, that's one. And then the other one's getting done here uh, for your 12s. Andrew Gates, uh, oh, that is not yours. That is yours. And then there's your other one. And then here's your coil assemblies that I'm gonna put in here. And then we gotta terminate, put the cones on. This is actually Kevin Sabato's uh, 18 inch top assembly, which I finished the other one. I just gotta put the cap on. There's the other assembly for the third one. There's Kevin's other top assembly. I'm just gonna put the cap on. So it turned out pretty good. This is for Andrew in Florida. These are not the TSPs. I'll get you the real TSPs. It's just from an, a motor that we built and then rebuilt it. I just reused the motor. So, cause I, I know you like that one. There's actually an extra too, if you want to buy a third, um, this one. I just gotta put the cone on it. Here's the other one. So we went with this cap. Uh, this seems to be pretty popular. So, uh, and then Rafi, your uh, let me know, Ralph. I'm going to text you right now. Uh, let me know if you want to do the concave cap, and then the bird. So I think the red bird would look good on these. Actually, this is this is yours. This is a different one. This is the other. Uh, this is the HD version of that um, that one I just did for Andy Fam. Uh, the HD version uses the TC sounds coil versus the slim coil that's all I wanted to see the TS small differences if there was anything so and then this this is the one for the guy that uh, did the Boston acoustics he's changing it he's a, he lives in uh, Vail which is near Tucson um, he did a, the Boston acoustics 10 and then I tore it tore it down and I'm like this thing's a turd and so we're gonna give him this one which is the power base so but uh, Xavier had it and he killed it so I got to do a fresh recon on it so I get that going Mr. Gates. Shit, do I have an extra? I think I have an extra. That's why my count was off. This is supposed to be Mr. Gates' uh, other one, but I think I have that other one. So that helps me because there's, there's some 12s I got to make as well. The the 400 ounce is done. I can probably pull those shims out. Even though it's already magnetized, uh, I'll zap it again just to be sure. And then I think, yeah, the other Cylon is in the magnetizer room. <sighs> Where's it at? Where's that? Where's it at? I don't know where it's at. They, oh, I think, oh, that's right. We already zapped it. I, we zapped it that day. Uh, um, the Russian was doing it. So I got it down here. Just got to find it. Uh, there's Mr. White's 12. I have the coil assembly done. I just got to put the cone on and everything like that. There's the other T2 motor, but I'm using it as a weight to hold down the ring on the Phoenix Gold TI. Phoenix Gold had a titanium series as well. It's like whatever. Um, and on those, it uses a 9 inch spider. And what I do is I usually put a couple spacers on it so then it can use a 10 inch spider. It's sort of expands it as it goes. I think I used two or whatever. It ends up not looking great as far as build quality. It, I mean, it's, it's very tough, but um, it's just a little ugly. And so then I got a special box. I'm going to put it in. That one's going to be for local though. I think I'm going to do that with a five stack or uh, I can't remember now. God damn it. And then this is Alex and Wilcox's one getting ready to ship. Uh, I think he has the other one on the shelf. No, that's the DC. This is the DC XL. Or level four or whatever it is that one's done i gotta text that guy 
There's the there's Alex's other one. So that one. Uh, I've been meaning to do um, this is the Orion XTR Pro. It's actually pretty beefy, but it uses like a two and five eighths. I got to do uh, like a review, I guess, on that one. And then I have this MA Audio one. I was it's got very very tiny tensile leads. It really needs a recon, but I think I was going to use it around the shop as a replacement while I'm working on that uh, Ari Audio SX, but that I, that I use now down there. It's down there in the cabinets. But um, for some reason, the, there was a weird vibration that I thought the surround had come loose or something like that, but it cleared up. I was like, well, no problem. No happening. Oh, I got the Feist deal. That's right. So uh, this is this. So all this did was I just, um, um, I just went down the Home Depot. This is a 3 8 uh, coarse thread. That's only one inch long. I just stuck it in there and it kind of, it doesn't, there's not quite any resistance, but I was able to just to tighten it up uh, up here and it worked really well. I had grind, ground all this uh, flat and the, so that there's metal to metal interface. I'll probably put some, uh, like a piece of clothing or like an old t-shirt and some uh, channel locks and give it a little more twist. And then just to be sure, I'll put a little bit of epoxy in there just so it sits flat and it won't move. And then for double sure, I'll put a bead of epoxy around the bottom. So, because that part doesn't get seen, and we're going to put the magnets in here. So, I can figure out what magnets are going to go on it. Oh, that's reminiscent. That's probably the MT. Uh, that's what it reminds me of the MT Mike Tango MT setup from RE. And I think uh, either recently um, Scott brought back the MT under the, the Phi brand. Uh, but let me put the triple stack on it the way it's supposed to look. There we go. Plenty of butt plug left. So it, it, if it jumps the gap, it's still got plenty of pull to guide it back into the gap. So and then what you do is you line up those uh, those holes along with the the carbs there, uh, just to get it gives it a little more surface area for cooling. We also got in this uh, RE Audio Destroyer, which is of course the same thing as the Concept CSP because they were made by Concept or at least the motors were provided by concept. Um, I don't know how much, ask David if he'll answer, David Moore of PSI, because at the time he was probably their builder. So we were getting the term, knocking the terminals off and I broke one of those, so that's how it goes, but it's not a big deal. There's two more, so it's fine. Uh, I won't use this frame, he wanted to go with the TI frame. So I'm gonna do a full TI assembly, uh, 400 bucks, detachable. It's much better anyway, a much better use of the motor. So, and then sometimes what we do is we use the, depending on what impedance he wants. Um, the original coil is a, I think it came in quad one and quad two. And uh, it's heavy copper. So, and because it's quad, that means it's eight layer. So, uh, but again, if you don't wire it in series parallel or even just all in series, it, again, it just, it, it ends up being a two layer coil because if you wire everything in parallel, so. Just so you know. Uh, there's Daniel's motor, and there's uh, James, Mr. Pitt's big uh, WMD or whatever Pierce Audio product calls that. Uh, there's the adapter for James, so, and uh, I think I, am I, I can't remember. I thought I was waiting on cones. There's something I gotta look up though. Uh, I gotta get to my notes. Uh, so this is also uh, Joshi Poo's, um, this is the TC5400, also known as the LMS Ultra, but he's doing the TC5200 coils on him, which are uh, eight layer, dual two, uh, and there's just a big shit ton of aluminum on them, so you can just kick ass all day. Um, Josh said he wants to, well, no, 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 so somebody else said they wanted a, a floppy butthole single spider and I was like mm, okay but I have spiders on order the control spider which is this guy let me show you it's this one it's the uh, I think it's three or four layer Nomex and you actually mount it on this way and you do the big epoxy like that and then you have that nice trough to fill with epoxy as well and then that's your control spider that keeps uh, the, the coil in control and so it takes the stress off the other spider because uh, this one is slightly shorter because I'm using more epoxy around the, the collar and then it leaves less spider and it's also stiffer. So that's the one that's gonna be controlling the woofer. 
The other one is just sort of along for the ride. It gives a little resistance, but it's not much, not enough. Oh, and I do acknowledge that um, I fudged the numbers on the testing for the Russians 15. Uh, like somebody said it was like 267 and I put 627 or something like that. Anyways, um, we'll test, um, uh, I'm doing an 18 with a 600 ounce motor um, and we'll do one of those just to get an idea. And that's what's great about having a detachable top assembly is that I can make a 15 inch top assembly and bolt it in on, onto that same motor. So I think that was it. I just got I want to get some stuff done before it gets too dark and Tender's going to pick up his truck. Uh, we're still, uh, well, uh, Hayden's out there cleaning up on it. But uh, of course I wish I would, I could have got more done, but it's, it's difficult. So um, but today was pretty busy. People coming over and bugging me. And it's funny. People get a little frustrated with me. They're like, oh, you're not making any progress. And I'm like, mm, I would love to. Again, I don't have any help. That's what was great about having the Russian here because the Russian, at least he could do stuff like terminals and just a little stuff, drilling holes, bolting the spiders down, things like that. Um, but yeah, like I said this morning, he was, he, he was like, that's not as fun as I thought it would be. I'm like, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> you got to have a real passion for it. And, uh, again, I like building just in general, but I think I, I like designing even more. I just like being like a woofer artist and just say, I think this should go with this, 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 and then presto, then you got the thing going. So, um, I don't know. I think that was it. I don't want to bore you guys. Uh, anyways, I love you. I will talk to you more. I'll uh, see if I can do some product reviews tonight, more for a recoil. So there's Hayden's 415 box. I keep telling him to sell it, but I think he wants to use it. So we'll see. Love you. Bye.